Hi, welcome to Bonitron. I'm Tom Freitag, and today we're going to show you our M3460 SAG Ride Through Unit built into a NEMA 1 enclosure. Let's head to the lab. With this unit, we took all the components of our standard M3460 SAG ride-through module, as well as a DD5 digital display, and mounted them in a NEMA 1 enclosure for a turnkey solution. For those of you that do not know about the M3460R ride-through units, let's go over some of the details. The M3460 comes in two versions. The R version, which covers SAGs up to 50% for two seconds, or completely losing one phase for two seconds, and the B version, which covers full outages of various time frames. These units can cover drives up to 425 amps at multiple voltages. The M3460 connects directly to the drive's DC bus. This eliminates a double conversion that a UPS would create, converting AC to DC, then back to AC. This also eliminates a point of failure as the M3460 is connected in parallel with the drive, not in front of it. For this video, we are going to focus on the M3460R SAG ride-through in a NEMA 1 enclosure. This unit only needs five connections plus ground to install it. Those connections are the three phases of the AC line and the DC bus connections to the drive. The DD5 display on the front of the unit lets you monitor and access many of the parameters for the unit. It also records the date and time whenever the unit goes active and stores it in an event history that can be recalled at any time. The unit we have here today is an M3460R-H050-E1-D. It is rated for 460 to 480 volts AC and 85 amps of current for two seconds. For more information on the different voltages and current rated units, visit www.bonitron.com. From there, you can download this brochure showing all the different M3460R NEMA 1 units. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna simulate a sag and show the drive tripping without the ride through connected. For this setup, we have a transformer in the back that's providing half voltage to the drive. And then over here in this rack is a relay, a timed relay that when you trip it, will switch to the half voltage transformer for two seconds. And for the drive, we have the drive connected to this motor here, which will be running at 70 Hertz. And then we have this motor here connected straight to the wall that'll be running at 60 Hertz. And this will simulate a load on the drive. All right, let's get started. Well, I just started the drive. Right now it's not running loaded. I'm gonna go flip on the load, I'll be right back. All right, now we got a load on the drive and I'm gonna go ahead and sag it and you'll notice that the drive will trip out on an under voltage fault. And as you see, the drive tripped out on its under voltage fault. All right, now we're gonna go over how to connect the system. Over here, you got your terminal block for your enables and ride through outputs if you want to interface with your PLC. These units will be shipped with jumpers put in to have it enabled right out of the box. Now for the connections to the drive, you just have your DC bus to connect to the drive and your AC line coming into the unit. So we'll go ahead and get those connected. We'll start here first with a ground. All right, now that we got the ground connected, I'm gonna do the DC bus to the drive. All right, now we're gonna connect the AC. We got our AC coming from the wall, 
And then this is our AC going to the drive. We're gonna feed these through and use our terminal block up here on our fuses to connect both of them. All right, got our AC connections made. Just gonna double check all of them and we'll be good to go. All right, now we're good to power everything up. Now you can see we got the ride through connected to the drive. Right now the ride through is disabled and we're gonna leave it that way because we're gonna run the tests again and let the drive go into under voltage but we have an oscilloscope hooked up right now so we can show you what's happening with the DC bus when we run this test. So let's get started. And turn our drive on. And turn our load motor on for the drive. Now we'll go run, run our sag test. Hey, right, here we go. As you probably heard, you could hear the drive trip out right away. And then we'll take a look up here on what's go, what happened on the scope. Okay, so we had the scope running during that last test and what it's showing is our yellow waveform is our 480 volt AC line. The purple waveform is our 240 volt AC line that we use when we're doing the SAG test. The blue line here is the drive's DC bus. As you can see, we started and we had full 40 volt voltage, and then we dropped to 240 volts here, and then 480 came back. Now the DC bus during that time, we started at a voltage of 663.7 volts, and you can see here right when we did this, initiated the sag, the voltage dropped all the way down to 318.3 volts and stayed there and then comes back, the voltage rise back up again. But by that time, the drive had faulted. All right, now we're gonna run that same test again with the ride through enabled. If everything goes the way it should, the drive should ride right through our sag. All right, here we go. Drive never stopped. As you can see now from this test, we had our SAG event right here and our DC bus voltage, it only dropped to 585.5 volts. Well, I hope you enjoyed our demonstration today. If you wanna check out more information about this product or any of our others, go to www.bonitron.com and be sure to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn account. Go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good one.